Hey traders, Raghi here and in this free recap video we're going to cover the way in which the short term time frames can give us a insight into today's or, or the current session's sentiment and I'm going to use a couple short term time frames to do it. So one of the first tools that I'm going to use is just the overall market trend on a very short term time frame like the three minute. Right. If we persist in, in printing red grab candles and we stay below the 34 EMA on the low, you know, whether you're looking at a three minute or whether you're perhaps you're looking at a five, kind of five, three and one, those are good time frames to keep an eye on for the short term sentiment. Let the color of the grab candles help you out. Also where we are in relation to the 34 EMA wave, which is the three moving averages that you see right here. Now, you also want to think about time because I think time is such an overlooked component for a lot of uh, intraday traders. I mean, time is an indicator in many ways all on its own. There are certain times where we see shifts and drops in volume and pickups in volume. So, you know, some of the basic times I'm just highlighting right here as we take a look at a single trading day, you know, we want to keep an eye on certain times the open, of course, the end of the clearing. Right? And this does not necessarily include events that are scheduled to happen throughout the day, like the GDP today and core, core durable goods. You know, one of the reasons I think we shot up earlier in the day around 830 when that news came out right back in here. And I, you know, I think a lot of traders are realizing, wait a minute, why would we rally on, on what was bad news? I mean, what, what would get the market happy about a, a kind of a flat miss in GDP, miss in, in core durable goods? Because in an environment where the market is just waiting, holding its breath for the FOMC to go neutral to dovish, bad data is actually something that they would expect the FOMC to notice and start to change their tune. So certain environments like the one we're in right now, bad data is actually going to be, as you can see, momentarily bullish for the economy. Now what happened as the day progressed? And we had all sorts of Fed speak and we had, you know, different reasons for the market to rally. We had also had quadruple witching. I mean, it was, just gonna, it was bound to be a volatile day. But you'll notice that it didn't take long for the market to start to roll over, whether you're looking at that five minute, that three minute, or heck, maybe you're looking at the one minute chart. So let's go take a look at the one minute chart here. So I'll, t I'll pay attention to the same times, 930, 10, 1030, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, the other thing that's unique to the one minute is I will put a volume weighted average price, the standard deviation, and the maximum permissible deviation on my chart. And this is TradeStation, so this is that um, tool running on my TradeStation charts. And the one that I'm probably keeping an eye on the most anymore for sentiment, most especially, is this middle line, the average. Okay, and whether or whether we're above or below makes a big difference. So a, a lot of traders ask me, well, Rog, how would I gauge that? Well, just really simply, if we're on the upper end of this, that's basically more bullish, and on the lower end of that, bottom end of that, um, just below this middle line, we're bearish. So yeah, I'm going to look at where we are in relation to that average. That's a really easy way to look at very, very, very short-term sentiment. I mean, this is a one-minute chart after all, right? Okay, so then what? Well, there are interesting ways to look at trades um, depending upon which side of the volume weighted average price average you are on. But one thing that I like to focus on is not the initial breakthrough. That's not what I'm looking for. It's the retest that I'm looking for. And, and one thing that made today kind of difficult is the fact that you, know, you could see I wanted resistance, you know, through here, right? That would be my resistance. But we fell short over and over again. So this this space in here is tough because if we don't close the distance, I don't get my retest short. So sometimes you might just get what you get and then that may be all she wrote. In which case, if that happens and you're noticing we're falling short on the bounces and not quite getting to the average here, that's where it's a good idea to then shift to a three minute or a five minute and say, okay, well, the volume weighted average price, it doesn't track as closely to price action as the wave does. And this is where having one, three, five is going to be a great intraday series of time frames to keep an eye on with 
the wave with volume weighted average price and grab candles. So if we can get some bounces on a three or five minute chart into the wave, terrific. And you can look to short those. Now, today looks like a fantastic example of why that works so well. But let me back up for a minute. Today was a pretty bearish day, right? When the market trends, everything looks great in hindsight. It, it totally does. So, so be aware that this is going to work. It look fantastic on a day like today. But I do want you to also be aware of the fact that it does work really well. And if you know to refer to it, you know, for below the average line, then you know, okay, if I'm not quite getting there, maybe the three or five minute might give me a hand and give me a short if we're falling short of that average. I hope that helps. A couple tactics. Check it out in the live market. Put these indicators on your charts and see for yourself. See if there's a visual anchor for you to make decisions off of, in which case I think you're going to love this tool, okay? All right. That's why I record these tutorials and these free videos. Um, hopefully you guys will get some value out of putting these free tools, by the way, on your charts. And I'll see you in the next update.